Hello, my name is Jonathan Reeves from Real Time Rendering. Today, just before we share the Twin Motion tutorial on lighting, I wanted to show you my new website for Real Time Rendering. So if you visit real-timerendering.com, you can see the domain there. It's a great source of information on the new sort of real time rendering software, particularly focusing on Twin Motion. Um, so we've kind of really designed this to kind of give you a nice sort of simple area where you can get the information you need. Um, we also have a few other services on there. So if you click on to Twinmotion itself, you'll get more information about the product and how Twinmotion can benefit your business. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a little bit of information about the interface and the environment, that kind of thing. Um, we also have information on training and system requirements here. But if we click onto the training, um, our training pages, basically we provide different types of training, um, on-site training in normal times, um, in-house but also at the moment we're doing a lot of online training now this led me on really to um, making a twin motion video training series um, so if you do look at my channel you'll see i've got lots of videos on twin motion but i've actually produced a specific series um, really just to help you all kind of begin and learn twin motion in all the detail you need so it's a really nice 12 part video series and you can see it here on the store page we'll just click onto the product there for a moment and basically it's divided up into 12 videos um, so we've got a really nice introductory video that will take you through and basically there's a set of training notes that will go with this that I'll send as a PDF um, we talk about the interface and introduce you to the interface lots of hints and tips there as well and then we'll get on to things like libraries and objects uh, materials how to make materials use them and edit them and so on and then making custom materials particularly focusing on uh, things like the Quixel uh, website workflow We'll talk a little bit about kind of sculpting the terrain and landscape and environments and refer to how you can kind of use the tools to, to make landscape models. And then we get on to um, importing models from other software, whether it's like Vectorworks or SketchUp, maybe Archicad, Revit, that kind of thing. Um, here's the tutorial on lighting that I'm going to share with you for free. And you'll see that this is a really nice tutorial on all the different types of lighting, sort of IES lights, area lights, point lights, um, and that kind of thing. We've got a couple of other really in-depth tutorials. These are about half an hour long each. Um, and we'll kind of take you through a really nice external tutorial focusing on exporting images and animations. And then we've got a couple of other videos down here. Um, really nice one on Office Tutorial 1 and 2. So these are mainly interior focused, but they really will kind of teach you a lot of tools and techniques. So for the limited time only, um, it's at half price. And if you watch the video in the link in the description, I will also put a code to get some extra discount. So in this next section of the tutorial, we're going to take a look at lighting. And to do this, we're going to open up the demo file that comes with Twinmotion. It's called Materials Room, and you can access that from the file menu. Um, here we can see there's a new sort of basically set up for this uh, Materials Room demo file in Twinmotion 2020. Um, they've kind of shown off some of the new assets and new people, that kind of thing. So I've done a nice updated version um, from the 2019 materials room that shipped with the previous product. So what we'll do, we'll kind of navigate around. Um, let's go and try and find a nice spot to practice our lighting. Now we do remember to navigate around with one, two and three to slow you down. Uh, so one is um, the slowest, two is medium and three is the fastest. So let's kind of navigate around to this point here. Um, and you can see basically we've got a nice little area here. There's uh, some lights already in the scene. So what we'll do, um, we'll just kind of have a look at these one by one. Before we do that, we'll just dim light down. And you'll notice that when you get to a certain point in time, uh, nighttime when there's no daytime light, those lights will come on. Now this is a special setting um, that you can actually say uh, daytime mode or nighttime mode. So basically you can turn the lights on as you slide the time down um, basically those lights will automatically turn on but in the day they'll be off which kind of makes a lot of sense that's a nice aspect to the software let's kind of navigate around here so what we'll do is we're kind of like practice some of the basic different types of lights that twin motion gives us i think i'll delete those um, just so we've got something to play with and again let's slide the time down to a little bit later in the day or early in the morning rather um, and then we can basically drag in some of the lights. So we'll start with the omnidirectional light. Now this is a good choice when you want to do general illumination in a fairly wide area of the scene. So you can slide the intensity up 
and we can change the color just by sliding up the color angle in degrees Kelvin uh, but you can click onto the color wheel and we can essentially change that to any color in the spectrum it's pretty cool so yeah we got the intensity slider as we said before and we can simply move that up the radius is how um, I suppose influential the light is in terms of how far it can emit the light and shadows are pretty obvious you can notice that a little bit of shadow coming in uh, for that person when I get close enough to him to actually kind of cast the shadow so that's cool so I think what we'll do we'll take a look at some of the other aspects of the light you can actually type values in here um, if you get beyond the normal value of the intensity let's go and have a look at the spotlights so we'll drag in a spotlight and I do find that if you drag them onto a wall that can really help so we'll slide the intensity up. Let's take a look at the angle. That's pretty intuitive, pretty uh, simple. Just the beam angle there. And let's kind of just try and move that light a tiny bit away from the wall. Yeah, that's cool. So when we adjust that angle, you can notice the angle of the spotlight itself coming back onto the wall. Again, attenuation is the amount or distance of the light has an effect. Intensity is pretty obvious and then on or off allows you to completely control the light itself. We'll take a look at haze in a later video and we'll see how that looks. So let's just kind of move that light along and I'm holding shift down to copy that light. Um, and the reason I want to do this is because I want to show you how about instancing. Now because the building here is curved, I will need to basically, every time I move that light, click OK, I will need to just move it ever so slightly in terms of its position. I think we actually need to go let's go back a little bit here yeah there we go just to see that appearing and what I want to show you was because though those were all copied from each other they're instances you can see that in the um, the manager they'll have a little color against them basically you can change the intensity or even the color value and all of them will change so this is a good choice when you want to change one light and for them all to react in the same way to create a bunch of instances from the original light and that's just simply done by copying one off, holding the shift key down and telling it how many duplicates you would like. OK, so let's carry on and have a look at the lighting in this particular area here. We'll just move this chat back a little bit just so we kind of got a little bit more visual interest. So we're going to take a look at the neon light. Now, this is a really good choice when you want to do things like recess lighting in the ceiling. Um, and basically, you can see it's very straightforward. We can adjust the intensity. And the length but we've got like a nice linear length to that light so it's got a real kind of like nice feel to it particularly good for uh, say recess lighting or uh, neon signs that kind of thing that would be definitely a really good choice um, you can see all the other controls are the same turning it on and off and so on so then we come on to the area light now the area light is a brand new light in twin motion 2020 it was just introduced so what we can do is we can adjust the length and the width and if I bump up the intensity a little bit, you can see it has quite a dramatic effect on the light. So the area light's a really good choice for things like um, office uh, ceilings where you've got the big illuminated panels. That'd be a really good choice for area lights. Plus they do cast really nice shadows. And they're also a very good way to get general illumination into a wide area of the scene. Probably better than Omni light in some ways. Um, so we're just tracking a couple of plants. You can see really nice shadows um, and because they are, the shadows are being cast out from the uh, origin of the, the light you can see they're casting out quite realistically in the sort of direction that they would so again we can turn the shadows on and off you do want to um, not have the shadows dominate the scene completely but for me those those shadows look really nice and I do really think the area light is a great addition to twin motion 2020 Okay, so what we'll do, let's move over to this area of the scene. Um, again, let's move this chat back here, just for a bit more visual interest. I think while we're here, let's go and add uh, like a chair or something as well from the library. I'll just drag that into the scene. And that's cool. I'll just spin that around. So just click onto the curved area, rotate that around. Let's do the same with this person. So we'll just spin him around a little bit more, get a bit more interest in that scene. And we'll carry on with the lighting. So let's go back to our lighting library, uh, click on lights, and let's have a look at the IES lights. So twin motion ships with about 30 different IES lights. 
Um, and the really nice thing is that we can click a lock there just to lock that by the way we can drag those in you'll notice one thing that's nice is if you click on the light itself you can kind of just apply multiple lights to the wall now even though they're not technically instances it's pretty straightforward to select them all and then modify them all in one go so it's a good little tip um, particularly when you're trying to apply them to say curved rooms where the copying method like I did before was a little bit more fiddly I just bring them in as individual lights and then just select them all and then you can group adjust um, all of the lights in one go so that's really cool it's a nice way to work let's move along to the next area of the scene so just navigate through maybe to another blank area just so we can practice our lighting now I really recommend lighting is one of the most sort of um, in a way one of the most difficult aspects to most 3d software Twin motion, in my opinion, makes it very easy. But what I would like you to do is just practice the different aspects to the IS lights and just see the variety of them. You'll notice that each IS light has a file associated with it. So if you do want to, you can actually click open. And if you've downloaded some IES files from other websites, there's plenty of free um, sites out there, you can load in your own IES lights into those. So you can just see a bit of variety on the kind of beam angle, uh, the kind of caustics effect of the, um, the fitting. Um, just get that nice sort of realistic lighting effect. Very, very, uh, very interesting and very real time as well. Now, most 3D software, you don't necessarily see this as you apply the lights. It's not until you do the rendering that you'll kind of be able to get an impact. So it's one of my favorite aspects to Twinmotion 2020. Um, the new lighting I think is absolutely awesome and I really do encourage you to try out some of these IS lights just see which ones you like the look of get familiar with the different sort of uh, types of light and where they might be used you know some are better for things like um, spotlights some would be better for say um, kind of oven lights under the oven or kitchen lighting so there's a really good variety there let's just move this object out of the way by the way, the light there isn't actually a light, it's a glowing material um, and that's actually a neon material that you can choose which has a different type of glow um, effect. So we're just going to carry, carry on with a few more of these lights just to show you the variety of them. Uh, there's 29, I think we're up to 30. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's just drag that final one in and you can see we can basically play, play around. If we change the, uh, the time, go to night time, those lights really kind of brighten up. You really notice them a bit more at night for obvious reasons when there's less ambient light. So we can select them all. But again, the nice thing is we can control um, the intensity and things like the color and the shadows for all of those lights in one go. And that can make quite a big difference. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do get used to the types of lights um, and the different kind of spotlights and IES lights that are available with Twinmotion. Get familiar with the different types and the ones that you would like to use. And one final tip is sometimes you need to position these quite accurately. So what you can do is drag them onto the floor and then just sort of physically move them up and just adjust the angle um, and then maybe the intensity a little bit. Cool. Yeah, and the attenuation is important. So we can just kind of physically move that light up and you can see the, a nice effect on the floor there from that light in real time. Fantastic. So definitely recommend have a play with the lighting. Mm -hmm.